Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bill Chen. I'm Nima Kung. I'm Ben Chen. In this class, I'll read to all of your part of Ulysses. S. Ah. Oh. Ulysses. James Joyce. Feb. Seven sec three. Funding. Ah, perhaps. Better phone him up first. Or that. Yes. Same as the trans house. Twenty eight. Twenty eight double four. He went down the house staircase. Who did you scald all over those walls with matches? Looks as if they did it for a bit. Heavy greasy smother always is in those ricks. Lukewarm glue in Tom's ex door when I was there. He took out his handkerchief to dab his nose. Citronomen? Ah. Oh. The soap I put there. Lose it out of that pocket. Putting back his handkerchief, he took out the soap and stood it away. But in into the hip pocket of his trousers. What perfume does your wife use? I could go home still. Tat. Something I forgot. Just to see. Before. Dressing. Well. Here. Well. A sudden screech of laughter came from the evening telegraph office. Know who that is? What's up? Pop in a minute to phone. Ned Lambert it is. He entered softly. Ayn. The ghost walks. Professor Macock murmured softly. Pursuit flee to the dusty window pane. Mr. Diddles, staring from the empty fireplace at Ned Lambert's quizzing face, asked ever surly, "Agnes in Christ, wouldn't it give you a heartburn on your arse?" Ned Lambert, seated on the table, we done, or again, note the meanderings of some purling rill as it babbles on its way. The quarrelling with the stony obstacles to the tumbling waters of Nupton's blue domain, mid mossy banks, fanned by gentlest zephyrs, by the overarching leafage of the giants of the forest. What about that, Simon? He asked over the fringe of his newspaper. How's that for high? Changing his drink, Mr. Didelis said. Ned Lambert. Often. Struck the newspaper on his knees. Repeating. The pensive bosom and the overarching leafage. Oh boys. Oh boys. And Zenoff and looked upon Marathon. Mr. Didelis said. Looking again on the fireplace and to the window, and Marathon looked on the sea. That will do. Professor Mac had cried from the window. I don't want to hear any more of this stuff. He ate of the crescent of water because he had been nobling and hundred. Made ready to nibble the biscuit in his other hand. High fellows and stuff. Lodebeck's. Ned Lambert is taking a day off. I see. Where that upsets a man's day. A funeral does. He has influence, they say. Old Chatterton. The White Chancellor. Is his grand uncle or his great grand uncle? Close on ninety, they say. Sublater for his death written this long time, perhaps. 
living to spite them. Might go first himself. Johnny. Make room for your uncle. The Right Honourable Hedgesire Chatterton. Dare say he writes him an odd shaky check or two on gale days. Win four when he kicks out. Alleluia. Just another spasm. Ned Lambert said. What is it? Mr. Blue Mast. A recently discovered fragment of Sice Row. Professor McEgan said with palm of tone. Our lovely land. Whose land? Mr. Boom said simply. Most pertinent question. The professor said between his chews. With an accent on the who's. Then Dawson's land Mr. Didalus said. Is it his speech last night? Mr. Blue Mast. Ned Lambert nodded. But listen to this. He said. Hushton. Excuse me. Jay. Jay. Omalo said. And during. Mr. Blue moved nimbly aside. I beg yours. He said. Good day. Jack. Come in. Come in. Good day. How are you? Did less? Well. And yourself? Jay. Jay. Omoishka's head. Cleverest fellow at the junior boy he used to be. Decline. Perch up. That hectic flush buzz for needs for a man. Touch and go with him. What's in the wind? I wonder. Money worry. Or again if we but climb the serried mountain peaks. I are looking extra. Is the editor to be seen? Jay. Jay. Omoloi asked. Looking towards the inner door. Very much so. Professor Macook said. To be seen and heard. He's in his sanctum with Lenhen. Jay. Jay. The file. Practice dwindling. I might have been. Losing heart. Ambling. Debts of honour. Weeping the whirlwind. Used to get good retainers from D. And T. Fitzgerald. Their wigs to show the grey matter. Brains on their sleeve like the statue in Glasovin. I believe he does some literary work for the Express with Gabriel Conroy. Worried fellow. Miles Crawford began on the Independent. Opening. We the Cox. Hot and cold in the same breath. Wouldn't know which to believe. One story could tell you the next. Go for one another about age in the papers and then all blows over. He'll flow him at the next moment. Ah. Oh. Listen to this for God's sake. Ned Lambert pleaded. Or again if we but climb the serried mountain peaks. Bombast. The professor broke in testily. Enough of the inflated windbag. Peaks. Ned Lambert went on. Towering high on high. To bathe our souls. As it what? Bathe his lips. Mr. Didalus said. Blessed and eternal God. Yes. Is he taking anything for it? A story. 
in the Pillars Panorama of Islands portfolio are matched. Despite their well-praised prototypes in other von Surprise regions, for very beauty, a busky grove and undulating plain and luscious pasture and a vernal green, steeped in the transcendent translucent glow of our mild mysterious Irish twilight. The min, Professor Macook said, he forgot Hamlet. To be continued.